Hello good day viewers, still on how to solve second order linear non-homogeneous differential equations. In this tutorial we are going to look at the situation whereby the right hand side is just a constant. You can see we have y double prime minus y prime equal to 5 and 5 is non-zero constant because if it is zero the whole of this equation is said to be homogeneous. So remember the general solution will be y which is a function of x equal to y sub h plus y sub p y sub h as always is the general solution to the homogeneous type and this is said to be the particular solution so now let us find y sub h first by setting 5 to be equal to 0 we have y double prime minus y prime to be equal to 0 then we are going to transform this equation into an auxiliary equation by setting y double prime to be r squared then we subtract we set y prime to be equal to r and this is equal to zero you can see that this is a quadratic equation now let us solve this by factorization we have r in common we have r inside minus one and this is equal to zero this implies that either r equal to 0 or r minus 1 equal to 0. So r could be 0 or r equal to 1 because if you set r minus 1 to be equal to 0, then definitely r must be equal to 1. So y sub h, which is the general solution, will be of the form a constant, we call it c1, e to the first root 0 multiplied by x, plus another constant c2 e to the second root multiplied by x let us further simplify we have c1 e to the 0 x is still 0 and e to the 0 is 1 so we have c2 e to the x because 1 multiplied by x is still x so this is the general solution for our homogeneous differential equation and we can keep it aside we have y sub h equals a constant plus another constant c2 e to the power of x so now let me take this down and find the particular solution so y sub p you know it depends on the nature of the right hand side the right hand side is just a constant i remember if you have a constant to the right just set y sub p to be a constant but you have to relate you can see from y sub h we have a constant if you have a constant you see two constants correspond therefore we have to multiply this by x as always if you decide a function to use as y sub p you have to relate with your roots if they correspond multiply by x multiplying by x you have to check again if you have any other one that correspond to a x you see this is just a constant and this is a constant mul multiplied by exponential function so they do not correspond let's continue we're going to take the first derivative y prime of p equal to differentiating this you have just a constant a you take the second derivative y double prime you know if you differentiate any constant you get zero so these are the three information we're going to substitute into original equation so from original equation you see we have y double prime which is equal to zero we have minus y prime y prime is a and this is equal to five to the right you can see zero minus a is just negative a and if you multiply both sides by negative you have a equals negative five this implies that y sub p is equal to negative 5 multiplied by x so y sub p is equal to negative 5 x and finally we can substitute this and this into y to obtain the general solution therefore y will be equal to y sub h which is a constant c1 plus another constant c2 e to the x then you add y sub p which we have as negative 5x 
and therefore this is the general solution to this differential equation and I think subsequently we're going to look on to a linear combination of these different functions you see we have treated a constant in some of the previous lessons we have discussed about a trigonometric function and even exponential function so subsequently we're going to look on to the linear combination of all these functions thank you for watching do have a nice day